So there are challenges and risks associated with training and operating in the, in the space flight environment. That for, for a, a space station crew, um, it's two to three years from the time that you begin training through uh, perhaps a six month mission or in the case of uh, Scott Kelly, a one year mission to get from the beginning to the end of that, uh, that training flow and mission. Um, and there are risks that uh, are presented throughout that, throughout that time. The risks that we specifically identify on the space station, um, we try to address those, a, a, a significant number of those through training. And so issues with equipment failures, um, the risks that we see during uh, dynamic modes of operation. So launch, landing, uh, robotic arm operation, uh, extravehicular activity. We try to address and reduce the risks associated with those activities through training. So training is of course a, a critical phase of the entire operation. Again, space station crew will spend, uh, for a, a first time flyer like me, we spend two, two and a half years in astronaut candidate training, uh, working in all of the disciplines that are required to be assigned to a flight. So that is uh, space station systems, uh, flying in the T-38 as a space flight uh, readiness trainer, um, robotic arm, extravehicular, extravehicular activity, Russian language training. All of these uh, disciplines finally fold into uh, being certified and as ready to, to be assigned to a mission. And then subsequently, once assigned to a mission, there's another two years of mission-specific training. So all told, about four and a half to five years of training for that first flight. And that training specifically um, familiarizes us with all of the things that we'll need to do during a mission, but also how to react um, to emergencies. And um, so that, that, that training is, is, of course, critically important to, to our success and safety um, in a mission. That training, I think most crews will agree that, uh, that there are improvements that can be made. Um, that perhaps in some areas we are overtrained, that we spend a lot of time training in things that we may not actually do on the, on the space station. Uh, but I think that we have gotten a lot better over time. We've been flying, um, we've had astronauts on the space station now for over 16 years. And in that time, from Expedition 1 now to you know, Expedition 48, 49, uh, we've gotten very good at the training and have identified the things that we absolutely need to train on. Response to emergency, um, really mastering critical and dynamic phases of flight against EVA, again, EVA and, and, uh, and robotic arm training. And then um, spending less time on the things that maybe are not as risky or not as complex and have developed methods of delivering just-in-time training to the crews on orbit through uh, very short videos, and that's worked, uh, that's worked really well. One of the, I think, surprises for me when I got to the space station, one of the pleasant surprises was that there was no time during my 141 days in space uh, where I did not feel confident and confident in um, the tasks or activities that I was asked to do. And so that certainly is a testament to, to the level of training that we receive. Um, and certainly errors may be more on the overtraining side, but ultimately uh, I think buys down the risk of, uh, of issues throughout the flight.